My name is Kip Dawson. I am honored to be a middle school teacher in Pittsburgh Public Schools. I teach this year seventh grade reading uh, called Communications, and I also am honored to be the faculty sponsor of the student council at my school, which I initiated, and also uh, to be the Shakespeare and August Wilson teacher at my school, also which I initiated. Um, my journey to becoming a teacher was one through um, the various social justice movements, which also I have been privileged to be a part of in my long life. I'm 71 years old and very, um, very much alive as a teacher. It, after uh, more than half a century of experience in the movements which come alive in my classroom because there are children there who are part of the future. Um, I was a high school student when I was one uh, to the opportunity to be a part of the civil rights movement which has been infused me with the understanding and the conviction that common people have within our capacity an ability to make history and to change the world for the better. And I see that reinforced for me every day in the students with whom I am honored to spend the school day. Um, I, I actually dropped out of college to become a part of the Vietnam anti-war movement. And um, after that, I moved to New York City and, and uh, did fundraising for Vietnam and, and other social justice movements. And I moved to Pittsburgh looking for a job in the steel mills or coal mines. Um, and got hired in the mines in 1979. So I became um, a coal miner in 1979. I worked in an underground coal mine in Washington County, Pennsylvania for 13 years. During the course of that time, I was a, um, very involved in the United Mine Workers Union and in solidarity activities among workers in different industries. I uh, traveled to England and brought back with me coal miners and miners' wives during the British miners' strike in 1984-85. They traveled around the country with them. I helped to build the Women Miners' Organization, which was a very, uh, very involved in organizing solidarity among unionists, and um, worked in the coal mines until I and my coworkers were laid off in 1992, the end of 92. And then I went back to school and got certified to teach and brought with me into teaching the things that I had learned at the coal miner. Um, I was very involved in the civil rights movement and many social justice movements from the 1960s through today, up to and including the struggles to keep our planet going um, and to, to save it from the ravages of the wealthy who are tearing it apart, and the Black Lives Matters movement, and of course the movement to save and enrich public education, which is where I think things all come home. If our children have an opportunity to learn who they are and their potential, and to learn the potential of their peers to make the world into the kind of place that it should be, I believe all the problems that we face in this world can be turned around. And I have that belief reinforced for me by what I see in the eyes and the writing and the talking and the communication and the collaboration of the students that I'm privileged to work with every day. The school in which I work is um, a school which draws to it students from all over the city of Pittsburgh, from some of the more privileged neighborhoods and some of those that have been more racked by poverty and injustice. And in the classrooms that I have been um, honored, and I mean that, to be a part of, uh, I see students coming together in ways that convince me that if they have an opportunity to be exposed to reading and writing and things that others have done in ways that interest them, they are going to want to and will learn how to read. They're going to want to and learn how to cooperate with one another. They're going to want to and will learn how to do the kind of math that it takes to be able to put together the kinds of things that our society needs. They're going to want to and will become the leaders that we really need in this world. So for me, teaching is kind of like the epiphany of everything that I have had an opportunity to experience in moving, working in the various social justice movements. It's a place where I see its potential, and it's a place where I also see the powers that be trying to destroy our opportunity to make these things happen for our children. 
those who are trying to, dis to charterize and privatize public education, as Diane Mavich puts it, don't want the kind of future um, power that our children are capable of assembling and sharing with one another. They fear that and they will do what they can to destroy it. In my opinion, that's what's behind the privatizing movement of public education and that's why so many people have come together to try and save it. Our kids deserve the kinds of schools and the kind of world that each of them has a right to expect. They can make it happen if we give them an opportunity to get the education and together that they very much deserve. And that's where my passion is these days and that's why I feel honored to be a part of the education world in the way that I am. <laughs>